Welcome to Daily Armor. Today we're going to be um, in Matthew 11, verses 25 through 30. Um, I referred to Matthew um, 28 and 29 yesterday and yesterday's devotion, and I just couldn't get away from it. Um, really got to looking at that, that Jesus said that he was meek and lowly in heart, and that meek heart and lowly heart is what we're going to be talking about today. So Matthew chapter 11, and we're going to go from verses 25 through 30. Um, so join me as we read. <clears throat> At that time, Jesus answered and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent, and has revealed them unto babes. Even so, Father, for so it seemed good in thy sight. All things are delivered unto me of my Father, and no man knoweth the Son, but the Father. Neither knoweth any man the Father, save the Son, and he to whomsoever the Son will reveal him. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart. And ye shall find rest unto your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Now I was pondering on that meek and lowly. And there's, when we think about meekness, we think about weakness. And meekness is certainly not, not weakness. Um, if you've ever been in any kind of situation where you just had to just bite your tongue just wait, be patient, um, not step in and try to do something, not step in and try to say something, not take matters into your own hands, but you just sat back and waited. And that takes a lot of strength. It is way more strength to hold yourself back than it is um, to just, you know, give into the, give it into the flesh is so easy. It is so easy to do that. It is so difficult to bite your tongue and wait and be patient and know that you don't have all the information. Know that that you um, you know you're 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 in need and you have you know all these things that go on in your mind that you just need to restrain yourself and you need to submit to God. Um, and that's the ultimate um, goal here when we are thinking of that meek heart. It's that submissive heart. Um, I want you to notice that in the first of these verses, that Lord had been, um, Jesus had been talking, and the Pharisees were in the mix. And this is who he's speaking of when he says, um, here in verse number 25, he says, um, Thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent, and hast revealed them unto babes. In other words, these um, these wise and prudent were those um those leaders, those um, the, those law experts, um, they were those that were very intelligent. They were so intelligent that they were blinded by what they thought they knew. That they they were so blinded by what by their by their traditions and and what they thought they understood that they would not submit and even question that maybe that they were wrong, even in some area. Um, maybe not even say that I'm wrong everywhere, but just is, is there some part of this Lord that I'm not, that I'm not right in? Is there some part that I'm missing? Um, and anytime that we're thinking we've have it all figured out, that means we've not got anything figured out. Um, there are so many things that I question and that I stumble through. I feel like yesterday's devotion, I stumbled through it. I passed the time I really needed to put on my reading glasses that I couldn't, um, you know, half read. And the, the part of that is just submitting and humbling and realizing that I, I don't have things figured out and you don't have things figured out. And that's what these, that was what was wrong with the, with some of the crowd that was there is that there were some that were there that they have it all figured out and you can't help somebody, somebody that doesn't realize they need help. You can't, you know, you can't do much for them. Um, I think about how difficult it must be for the pastor as he's preaching and he's got those out in the congregation that are just refusing the message and the message isn't from the pastor, but it's from God. And, and so then we think about that the message here and, I, and then when I think about Jesus is meek and lowly, I think that he is, it hurts him 
to see that they, that even that religious crowd, he wants them to understand. He wants them to submit. Um, he wants them to um, to question um, the way they've been doing things all this time. They want him. He wants them to question that. He wants them to understand, but they're refusing. But um, it's not all's not lost because he's not just teaching and preaching to the um, to the wise and the prudent. There's the babes there. There's the those that are they're coming as a young child, and that's the way we come to the Lord Jesus. We come as a young child. I don't care if you're fifty, if you're ninety. I don't care if you're seventy-five. I don't care if you're twelve. You come to the Lord as a child, as a child. So we see here in um, verse 25, the end of it, and has revealed them unto babes, has revealed them unto babes, coming as a child, those children that want something, those children that are in need, those children that are questioning their whole life, they're questioning everything. And it says in verse 26, even so, Father, for so it seemed good, seemed good in thy sight. Now we skip back on down to uh, verse 28. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden. These are when we're trying so hard to get to the Lord. He came to me. I was trying so hard. I didn't want to miss a service. I wanted to volunteer for everything going on in church. I wanted to be involved. I wanted to, I was looking for that sense of accomplishment. I was looking for that sense of purpose. I was looking, I had that empty void. Um, and then the Lord says, all you that are heavy laden, I will give you rest. And that's exactly what I found when I came to him. Um, but I really, what I'm focused on today is take my yoke upon you and learn of me for I am meek and lowly in heart. Jesus is saying he's meek and he's lowly. He's meek. He's saying that he's approachable. He's saying that he, he is God, but he is not so much God that we can't approach him. He has brought himself to earth. He has humbled himself to earth. In, in meekness, not in weakness, in strength, not in weakness, but in meekness, he has submitted himself to come to us and he is available. He is available and that is so precious. And when it says he is lowly of heart, um, that is, uh, you know, that's when that heart is feeling humbled and he has a yearning for those of us to come to him. Um, when when you whenever you think about that, maybe you think to yourself. Sometimes I think to myself, Teresa, why don't you just get it? Why can't you just, you know, when I'm when I'm like, I'm I'm frustrated with myself. I am lowly in heart with myself because I want to I want to get through this task. I want to accomplish this goal. I want to learn. I want to, you know, when I'm when I'm trying to 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 learn a skill and I've okay, I I did that and I messed that up. Okay, I'm going to do it again and I messed that one up and okay, I'm going to do it again and I messed that up and I'm and I've really really frustrated with myself. Um and I and I'm lowly in heart. Um I am just humbled and almost, you know, almost a crying out that I want to get it. And I just got to keep trying. I just got to keep trying. And Jesus is saying that he's lowly in heart because he wants us to get it. He wants the, he wants us to see that he is all we need. He wants those that he was speaking to, even those Pharisees and that were in the crowd. He wants them to see. He wants them to set aside that they have things figured out. He wants them to push that aside and to question and to come to him. And then they're going to find that rest. So when we think about that, we should be meek. Um, we should be humble. Um, we should have compassion that Jesus himself was said he was meek and lowly in heart. And so we need to look at situations from that standpoint, from that viewpoint that we need to be meek and lowly in heart. We need to humble ourselves under Christ. Um, we need to be have compassion on others and just keep at it. Thank you for joining me. I look forward to seeing you again soon.